All right, folks, so today we're going to test the power output on the ICOM IC705 for VHF and UHF frequencies. Stay tuned. The results might surprise you. So here is the sophisticated equipment that we're using to conduct this test. I'm running the signal through about three feet of RG8X coax into the Nisei RS40. Here you can see we're getting five watts on the two meter band and we are running off of the internal battery. Because we're running off the internal battery, we can only go up to five watts. I should also mention that we're using an MFJ dry dummy load to do this test. Okay, now we're gonna switch over to 70 centimeters and see what we have there. And I'm just going to play around with the dial because I like to do that. I should have probably cut that out of the video. And here we go. And looks like we're getting 5 watts here as well. All right, we're going to power down and then we're going to switch to an external power supply. For the external power supply, we're using a 12 volt, 12 watt bio NO battery. And when I plug this in, you can see that the internal battery was charging. We're powering up the 705 now. And then you can see it looks like we're drawing a steady current of 0 0.34, 0 0.35, 0 0.37 amps. Let's go back to the two meter band. And then here you can see I can set to a max wattage of 10 watts. So here we are set to 10 watts. Let's go ahead and key up and we are right around 10 watts. Everything is looking pretty good. And then here I just want to test the current. So when I key up it looks like we go up to about 2.77 amps. And that's well within specifications. Let's go ahead and switch over to 440 or 70 centimeters. And we're turned all the way up, so we should get 10 watts out. Pay attention to the meter, and it looks like we're at about 6 watts out. So I found this to be very surprising. I wanted to check the current. And then you can see that we're only drawing about 1.7 amps. So I think initially I was concerned that there might be some reflected power coming back in. Uh, with the reduced current draw, something's telling me that potentially the radio is not pulling enough current for whatever reason. Maybe it's choosing to for some reason. I, I don't know. So here I just want to go ahead and I want to try it again. And again, we're at around 6 watts. So I don't want to keep doing the same test over and over. Let me go ahead and turn this off. And then uh, we're going to try a different meter in the event that something's wrong with the meter that we're using. So here we're using an MFJ894. And then when I key up, you can see that we are not getting a full 10 watts out. Uh, we are on the 20 meter scale. I'm going to continue to switch between peak and average power. Let's go ahead and try a uh, 2 meter band. And it works fine. Now I know some folks will say that we are getting a little bit of SWR, uh, some reflected power here. But uh, to me, on um, it, it doesn't look like it's very much. Let's go back to the uh, 440 band. And I'm going to say that that might be 1.3, somewhere right around there. So we're going to take a little look at some SWR calculations and see how that might play into this particular scenario. Let's go ahead and power the equipment down. Okay, folks, so here we are at the ICOM America website. Uh, this is the page specifically for the IC705 uh, specifications. So if you take a look here, you can see under transmitter all the different frequencies for which you can transmit. And obviously included is the 2 meter band 144 through 148. 
and then the 70 centimeter band at 430 through 450. Uh, here you'll see next to the 4 meter band that there is an asterisk, and that's because that is only available for European radios, I think specifically in the UK. Uh, so if you come down here, you see some frequency bands are not guaranteed. So here you can see your current drain, uh, and it shows uh, 1.3, I'm sorry, 13.8 volts and 7.4 volts. Uh, so external and internal power. When I talk about internal power, I'm talking about the battery that attaches to the back of the IC705. Um, and then you can see your TX power on the external power is 10 watts and then 5 watts on the internal power. It also lists the various, here you go, um, under transmitter again here is the out output power listed. Uh, it shows that AM modulation is at a lower power output and that makes sense because it's a little bit of a, of a larger signal. You can also see the different modulations SSB, AM, FM. There's, there's nothing here indicating that you would see a lower power output on uh, 440 or 70 centimeters. Now it's not atypical to see lower power out at output on dual band radios uh, where you get less power out on 440 uh, than, you, than you do uh, 144. So I'm not surprised to see that. The other thing I wanted to share was this article from the ARRL, Understanding SWR by Example, uh, because I do believe some folks are gonna say that your six watts out is your forward power and you're getting four watts of reflected power back based off of your SWR reading. And uh, while that's plausible, I don't think it's true. So when you take a look at table one here, what you can see, and I think the SWR that we were getting on 440 was around 1.2 to 1, 1.3 to 1, maybe, maybe even 1.4 to 1. Let's just assume it was 1.5, which would be even higher. So when you take a look at this table here at uh, 1.5 to 1, what you're seeing is 4% power uh, reflected back. So that wouldn't be 40%, which is what we were seeing. In order to see 40% reflected power, you have to go further down in this table. Uh, and that would be between uh, an SWR 4 and 5 to 1. So about 4.5 to 1 would give you 40% reflected power. So I just don't see that as being the likely cause. If you have any ideas, go ahead and post them below. Or if I'm doing something wrong, I I I'd love to hear it. Um, what I'd like to see is folks who do have the 705 go ahead and test theirs. Uh, and see what your power output is on 440 and go ahead and post it below or make your own video and let me know. The other link that I'm going to share is this uh, voltage standing wave ratio uh, calculator for Visuar as the RF engineers uh, call it. So here I put in uh, 1.5 to 1 SWR so we're going to round up for the sake of the argument. I'm going to click the calculate button and then you can see here with a 10 watts input power our output power is 9.6 and change. So that would represent that 4% that, uh, coming back. Uh, reflective power here you can see would be 0.38 of a watt, not four watts. So again, if you have any ideas um, or a reasonable explanation, go ahead and post it below. Um, I'd, lo I'd love to hear your thoughts. This is the part in the video where I thank everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or recommendations, go ahead and post them below and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks again, everybody.